So, my name is Raihan Hussein and I'm a third year medical student at Durham University. And these are my tips for current medical students. So, if you guys want to see more medical school related videos or med school vlogs and other videos like this, uh, make sure you check my channel out. It is Raihan Hussein, that's R-Y-H-A-N Hussein um, on YouTube and you'll find all my videos on there. Now, tip number one. If you're in year one or year two of medicine, make sure you use your lectures to make notes. So, the reason I say this is because your lecturers are going to make your exam. They make the exam questions that you're, you're going to sit at the end of the year. Now, these exam questions that they come up with, they, they make from their lectures or the things that they mention in their lectures. So, if you're in their lectures, make sure you make notes from what they say and also what they put up on their slides and use these in your revision because I can guarantee that there'll be something, some bit of small information hidden away in one of the slides that you might think, oh, they won't ever test you on, but they genuinely do test you on. Like, it'll be like gene HLA127 is, causes this disease and, and this, and they won't, they might not even talk much about it in the lecture, but it will be tested on. So make sure you use your lectures and the things that your lecturer says in the actual lecture as your basis for your notes um, and your revision. Tip number two is make friends with the students in the year above. Now the reason I say this is because the, the students in the year above you have sat, sat the exams already and they've been through the year already and they know what the lecturers like to test you on, subjects that they don't really test you on and topics that they really do focus on. So if you, if you make friends with them, they often give their advice and their tips and they tell you, right, Raihan, make sure you focus on this topic or make sure you use this book instead of that one and make sure you look at this lecture because these are the things that they really do test you on and they, they want you to know. So that's why I say make friends with these students. Now I can give you my tips and advice. However, if you get advice from the students in the year above you at your university, it's more tailored for you because they've been through your university's exam. So, you know, it makes sense to ask um, students in the year above. The third thing that I want to say is make sure you get flashcards for anatomy. Now, you can get Grey's Anatomy flashcards or the Netters flashcards. There are a variety of flashcards out there. I personally use the Grey's Anatomy flashcards because they are one of the most popular ones. But the reason I use them is because, honestly, anatomy is so hard. Like, there is so much anatomy of the body that you'd, you know, you'd think like... Well, I never expected it anyways when I came to uni, but there was so much like, first in first year we started off with the heart, the liver, the lungs and the kidney. And I thought, you know what, that's a lot of anatomy and we're probably finished, that's all we probably need to know. That wasn't, that was only the beginning, that was like a one step in a, in a flight of 20 stairs, you know. It, there's like the anatomy of the limbs, there's the anatomy of the legs, the, the arms, the, the muscle. And, and in these limbs, you're talking about the muscles, the veins, the arteries, the nerves, the lymph nodes, the, the lymphatic vessels. There's so much anatomy and the different bones as well and, and the different, you know, where the muscles attach, where they insert, where they start. I can go on for I can go on for ages. Honestly, the anatomy is endless, and I haven't even I haven't even touched on the anatomy of the brain. So this is why I say buy the Grey's Anatomy flashcards because when you're revising anatomy with these flashcards, it's best to revise with a friend as well. So you know you can test each other, and it makes anatomy or revising anatomy a lot more interesting or fun. And instead of you know sitting through Grey's Anatomy book, just reading through page on page and you know a thousand pages of information, like imagine trying to keep all of that in your brain. The fourth thing that I want to mention is make sure you revise with other medics. Now, in my first year, I, I was revising in the library with a bunch of accounting and finance and business students, basically my flatmates. Now, this was good because you know we had a laugh and it was it was it was a nice time, but. When I needed help on the valves of the heart or, you know, the different branches of the lungs, they couldn't help me. They could tell me about the tax and taxation and VAT tax in the UK, but they couldn't help me when I asked them about the heart and the lungs. However, in my second year, I was revising with the second year medics. Now, 
this helps a lot because I had a lot of gaps in my knowledge. However, one of my friends was quite interested in um, orthopedics and he knew quite a lot about the bones and the limbs and, and all the musculature in, in, in our limbs. And he helped me quite a lot with uh, the anatomy of the limbs. I was quite good at the heart because I want to become a cardiologist so I enjoy learning about the heart and because of this I was able to help him on topics um, on the heart and, and things that he didn't understand. So the point that I'm trying to make is that when you revise with other medics you fill each other's gaps in, in your knowledge so if you're struggling with something your friend can help out and if he's struggling with something then you can help out. The fifth and final thing that I want to mention is remember to have a social life. In medical school, you're gonna go through a lot of stress. It is one of the most stressful periods probably in your life. Um, F1 and F2 are also very stressful, I've heard, but medical school is very stressful. Now, the only way you get through this is having a good work-life balance. Now, if you have a good social life and, and you know, you're taking part in your hobbies, then you'll find medical school is fine. And, and you know, you'll, you'll be able to deal with med school okay, but if you make medical school your life, and, and you live and breathe medicine and you wake up and you're reading Grey's Anatomy and you go to sleep and before you go to sleep you're reading bedtime stories from Grey's Anatomy you're gonna find it very hard to get through the five years of the degree you need time to de-stress to go out with your friends to socialize to because it's what keeps you sane in med school so make sure you have a good balance of work and social life and that'll guarantee you getting through uh, med school keeping fully sane. Now, these are my tips and advice. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, subscribe to the channel. And again, if you wanna see my videos, then just search my name on YouTube and you'll be able to find these videos. Thanks for watching guys and bye for now.